God's voice will always put you in confrontation with your fears. God's voice will always challenge the limits. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's simple. That's how I always knew it was God. It was never normal. In fact, if it's normal, I don't accept it. Some of you have heard me say that before. If it's normal, I delete it. Once it looks like everybody else will look at me as stupid, I know it's God. Because that's how God is. He doesn't live in this time. All his words will bring you to his realm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Only mad people use a stone to kill a giant. How can a giant confront an entire army for 40 days and you come with catapults? And you tell me David's not hearing God. Which man talks to a person like that? Something must have been talking to him. Yes or no? Yes, sir. He was being steered. Everybody just everybody just afraid. You are still trying to hear God when you are angry. That anger is God. That frustration is God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That tiredness with the lack. That anger that there's limit, 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 limit. That's your anger is God. Is God. Once you can hear, God is saying, get out. This place is too small for me. This thing is too small. They are limiting me. That discomfort is God. And that's an opportunity. If you miss it, your children will come and fight the same battle. It's not a prophecy. It's just a fact of life. You are fighting battles not meant for you. the issues we are complaining about is because people forgot to fight battles. They didn't fight it. They didn't fight it. It's your turn now. You are still waiting to hear God 20 something. You are still trusting God for his voice, for direction. The anger is not enough voice. All the limits staring you daily are not enough voice. You pray this prayer. Jesus, go show me a picture. Show me a picture. 